Joining us next on the Marmy Rock Show, uh, coming back for a second appearance on the Rock Show, actually. I'm very excited to have Liv Sin from Stockholm, Sweden band, Liv Sin. So uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Hey, it's great to talk to you again, and you've got a new record out called Follow Me, which I'm going to ask you all about in just a second. But uh, for folks wondering, um, they're thinking that's Liv from, uh, you know, the band Sister Sin. So why don't you tell folks about the transition from, from that band into this band? Absolutely. Um, in 2015, uh, Sister Sin uh, broke up, unfortunately. Um, it was, uh, we toured very heavily the last couple of years, and two of the band members in Sister Sin, they got totally burned out from the touring, and uh, after Mayhem Fest 2015, um, when we come back home to Sweden, they they told me and Dave, uh, that they didn't want to continue in the band, or that they didn't want to continue touring, and Sister City is a live band, so we have, I mean, we we tour, we play live shows, and they know that, so they, they said it's better that we leave the band, um, and me and Dave thought about it for a while, but then we said it's not going to be Sister Sin without the other ones, so we just decided that this is the end of Sister Sin. Uh, which was very sad. I thought it was very sad. I was very disappointed um, for a long time. But then I kind of started to see this as, as an opportunity to start something new instead. So um, about a year ago, I decided that I would actually try to do something new and start a new band, which is Live Sin then. So, uh, and it took about a year. Now the record is out. So, well, and I'm very happy about it. So introduce us to your new bandmates. Uh, who did you find as, as your new uh, players on stage? Yeah, first of all, I already had the drummer. Uh, he used to help out in Sister Sin sometimes when Dave couldn't help out. Oh, Dave, Dave couldn't play. So I already knew him and I played with him. So he was the first one that I had in 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 my my new band it was a drummer pair uh and then uh, the second one i found was when i actually had decided to get with a manager that i should start something new i really needed someone to help me out with the songwriting i had a lot i had a lot of ideas i had a lot of um things in my head but i'm not a very good guitar player so the riffs that i had in my head I was not able to get to to play them myself. They were were in my head, and they never sounded the same when I tried to play them on my guitar. (laughs) So I needed someone who could actually play guitar. Um, And I had an old friend of mine, uh, Patrick. He, I know that he was looking for bands. I know that he he's a good songwriter, but he played more punk rock, pop rock, punk rockish. So I was not sure that he wanted to join something that was more metal. But I asked him, and and we started to make some songs together. He sent me some of the first um, riffs he sent me, was the riff for Let Me Out, and then I immediately knew that he he was my guy. He was the one I was looking for. He could very fast find out what I was what I was looking for. Where I could sing guitar riffs for him, and he could actually understand them. So, so oh, I had wow. Patrick and Pear in the beginning, and the three of us, most of me and Patrick, we made the songs uh, together, all the songs. And when it was time to hit the studio, I also wanted to have, I know that I wanted two guitar players. So just right before we hit the studio, I I um, found my uh, second guitar player. A so- I wanted a more solo guitar player. And, and that's Christopher, who I found on Instagram. I didn't know oh, him wow. at all. But I, I, he posted videos. He started to follow me, and then I started following him back, and he posted a video uh, to, of him playing guitars, and I liked the way he played. So that's how I found him. Uh, and then we have Tommy, the bass player, who is was the hardest one to find. It's always kind of hard to find bass players for some reason. <laughs> um, but we didn't have any time until after the recording to to really focus on getting a, a, a bass player. Um, and um, it was actually another Swedish band called Hawker Superstar who said to me, well, our crew guy, uh, our tour manager, Tommy, he he plays bass. So that's how I found the bass player. So I didn't know him either uh, in the beginning, but 
very good recommendation from another Swedish rock band, so I took it seriously. <laughs> yeah, the record's called Follow Me, and um, my take on it is that it's a little bit heavier than, than some of the previous stuff we heard from Sister Sin. Is that fair or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, and that is intentional. Um, I wanted it to be heavier. I, I mean, I didn't want to continue at the exact same path as with Sister Sin. That would just be a copy of Sister Sin. And it would, in my opinion, be pretty boring. And I'm not a pop rock girl. I had a lot of uh, suggestions or people getting me offers being in, in bands or producers who want to do something with me. But it was all all pop rockish or or more or sleaze rock or more rock and roll, which which is very good. But it's not my style. Um, I am more heavier, and I've always wanted to play a little heavier than Sister Sin was playing. Even though Sister Sin got heavier from each record, or for uh, each record, um, but so when I when I could uh, decide by myself exactly the kind of music I wanted, I know that I wanted to be heavier than Sister Sin. I wanted to be more metal, more guitars, two guitars, and yeah, just riffs that you can head bang to. Now, um, I was, I'm really interested to hear about this tune. Uh, I couldn't help but notice that you did a. A song with one of the Helsinki vampires with the vocals from the 69 Eyes. So uh, how did that come about? Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually known Yurki for a very long time. I think over 10 years. Um, I mean, Finland and Sweden are not that far away. And he's often in Stockholm. We've played a lot in Finland. Um, and I've always loved his vocals. Um, it's it's very dark. It's so dark and I, it's, he's a very nice voice. A very cool voice, and I always wanted to do something with him, like a duet or something, but never, never got any chance to do it. There was no timing or no good songs, etc. And, uh, and when we decided that we actually would make this fight cover song, uh, Immortal Sin for the record, which we just actually tried out when we were in the studio, me and Stefan just played around with it and we liked it. Um, but the, but I, I felt that something was missing. And I, and I heard a deeper voice in my head. And then I thought about Jürke and I called him up and I asked him if he wanted to join me. And he had free time exactly when I called. So he went down to Germany and recorded the vocals. And then he also, um, a couple of weeks ago, he, he went over here to, to Sweden and recorded the video for it. So I'm very grateful for that. I think, uh, I think his voice suits very well. Yes, yeah, so uh, let's talk about that video. I was watching it today, and, um, you know, you can't help but wonder the way that video ends. Is it going to pick up the ending that we didn't really get to see in the next video, or is that it? We're just going to wonder. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe. I want people to wonder. I think it's it's kind of when it's not a very – when you when people have to think a little bit about the ending, I like that, when it's not just served to you. You can make your own ending, or you can – or we'll see. Maybe we do another video from it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm curious about one more thing with that video, and I want you to ask. I mean, tell me a little bit about the making of it. But I, I couldn't help but notice there was a picture of you with duct tape in the making of that video. What yeah. was up there? Uh, it's, um, was an idea actually from uh, from the, the the girl who styled us or helped us with the styling, because he said if you're gonna play like if you guys are gonna play. Um, like, um, or oh, what you call the, the word for it? I just lost the word for it. Um, <laughs> when you go, as, assassins, assassins. If you go yeah, that yeah. way, like, yeah, then you, you are like, oh, it's going to be blood everywhere anyway, so better duck up myself, so not so much uh, to like, uh, what do you call it, wipe off or, or wash, or wash off. It's like, I'm, I'm prepared for the assassination all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, hey, I want to ask you about live shows. It looks like you're kind of on the festival uh, circuit right now in Europe. Any hope of seeing you back in the United States? Um, we are we are currently in the thinking of it. So, uh, no promises, but we are um, looking into it for next year. If an opportunity comes up, that would uh, the 
that is a very good opportunity for us. Uh, that's what we are looking for. Uh, so it's not impossible. And um, it is one of the things that we are working towards that we will also come over to to the States. Well, we'd love to see you back over here. I know it's very expensive to do that, and I do understand the challenges with it. So um, one more thing I couldn't help but notice, and it's kind of interesting, that it says that you're a personal trainer. How did that come about? Yes, uh, and I've been for like over 10 years, so <laughs> long time. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but I, I've always, I mean, I'm a sporty person. I always liked to move my body, to move things, uh, and um my, my dad was a sport teacher, so I guess it's in the blood somehow. Um, and and since it's hard to live from from just the music, unfortunately, and I have to have another job. I, I choose one of my other interests as a job, which is training. So I became a personal trainer. So uh, yeah, so I, it's, it works. I mean, it's a, when you're in, it keep you balanced. I think to have both of them. It's like when you're in. In the fitness business or the training business, you relax from from the rock and roll and music life a little bit, and vice versa. Now, are you ever able to work any of your music in with your clients, like have them exercise into some of your music? I don't do that so much because I'm not feeling very <laughs> comfortable to put my own music on, <laughs> on my, in my <laughs> fitness classes. But I do put a lot of heavy metal, so they know that when I Oh, it's live today. It's going to be heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hey, it's always been a pleasure talking to you. I've had you on the show. And uh, once again, this is uh, Liz Finn. The band is Liz Finn. And the new record is Follow Me. You can pick it up in the States right now on iTunes. And, uh, man, it's been a pleasure having you on the show again. Well, thank you for having me.